Ukrainian forces have made significant gains against Russian troops, but the U.S. Secretary of State says the war is far from over. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze explains the latest now in our top story at 5. As Ukrainian forces ramp up their counteroffensive in the country's south and northeast, a show of unity from the U.S. and European allies. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Brussels today, repeating NATO's commitment to Ukraine and its war against Russia. Supporting Ukraine's capacity to defend itself, sustaining pressure on Russia for its aggression, ensuring that Ukraine is in the strongest position when conditions are right for negotiations. The Brussels trip comes on the heels of Blinken's unannounced visit to Kyiv Thursday, where he met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and toured the city of Irpin, left decimated by Russian attacks. Blinken adding that he's been briefed on Ukraine's counteroffensive. We did get a comprehensive update on the, on the counteroffensive, and again, it's very early, but we're seeing clear and real progress on the ground. Amid renewed shelling in southeast Ukraine near Europe's largest nuclear power plant, the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency today giving a dire new warning. Let me be clear. The shelling around Saporizhia nuclear power plant must stop. And a nuclear safety and security protection zone agreed immediately. A nuclear power plant can never be a pawn of war. Blinken also urged European countries to stand firm against Russia amid a brewing energy crisis. He warned the Kremlin is weaponizing energy supplies by cutting off natural gas exports to Europe. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.